Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again. We're back at it on Friday, May the 3rd. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, looks like we're going to start the day off with a spark order. 26 bucks, 10 miles, 3 drops. Two of them are really small. One of them is, you know, it's a small order. It's considered a small order, but there's a case of water, a case of soda, and a 12-pack of soda among other a few other little items it'll be fine it's going to a house i'll use the wagon or else back right up to the front door but anyway we ought to be getting loaded up any minute now y'all have been having a rash of trip cancellations lately yesterday my uber rider canceled on me so i got 17 bucks for doing nothing and just now that spark curbside order i told y'all about what was it 26 bucks or something the associate and I both scanned the labels and we were just about to start loading my car and that trip canceled. So I got 10 bucks. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, now I've got another spark order. $26.69 going six miles. It's two drop offs. So let's see, about five minutes we ought to get loaded up. This ain't gonna be fun. I got two cases of water, 24 packs, not 40 packs or anything, but I got two cases of water going to a second story apartment. That's gonna hurt my back a little. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm bringing it right to you. I wish there was some way I could hand it up to you. <laughs> we need us a rope and pulley, block, block and tackle. Let's see. Um, can I just set it right here, or you want me to set it right inside the door? Or? Let me just put it right here and I'll Boy, I won't go in y'all's apartment. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Deliveries to a lot of people who work from home. Seems like it'd be kind of cool to sit there and get paid working in your own house or apartment and just have stuff delivered to you. you see dressed for work. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> have a great day, buddy. Thanks, sir, you too. Yeah, I knew that one was going to be a little bit hard. I don't know why they wouldn't put a two liter bottle in a bag. I don't know. I also the milk. <laughs> yeah. I always put my milk in a bag. I do too. It's got a handle, but it's not as easy to carry as, as the bags are. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. I appreciate your business. Hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. All right, y'all, after our Walmart Spark Drops, we just accepted a $6 McDonald's. It says 4.3 miles, but I was headed this way anyway. 
and the order's going west. Looks like it's maybe going maybe two miles from McDonald's to the customer. And I was already driving west. Well, good Greek. Did I forget to record when I walked in McDonald's? Anyway, we got our McDonald's order right here. This, uh, this order is not where I, going where I thought it was going. It's 2.1 miles. Now two miles. 2.1 miles from McDonald's to the customer. I thought it was. I thought this address was right off Haddock Road, back the other way. But I guess it's right off Grove Boulevard. Jocelyn, I appreciate your business. Enjoy your McDonald's and have a wonderful day. I just declined two straight DoorDash orders. $4 for 3.9 miles and $4.25 for 5.2 miles. First one didn't drop me. Second one dropped me from 76 to 75. Come on, DoorDash. Give me a decent order. All right, y'all. We just accepted a uh, high pay offer for Zaxby's six and a half bucks. I think it was going four miles, probably two miles from here. Let's go get some chicken fingers, y'all. Hey, you know if one of these orders says Matab Y? <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. I'm sorry, what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I don't mind at all. Have a good day. Ah, going back to Ombudsman. I should be able to find it this time. And pronounce it. Ombudsman. Ombudsman. <laughs> That's a hot bag. Oh, crap. Now I gotta drive. Hi, um, this for Yesupriya? Uh, Matab? Yes, uh, Matab, Matab Y? Okay. Yes, Matab yes. Y. That's uh -huh. one. Uh, can I, can put it okay, right thank you so much. Sorry, you guys are out of the bag. Can I go next? Yeah, I'm over here. There's another way. There's a short staff over here today, and then I'll get you over. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, that was easy enough. Nice order. <laughs> no DoorDash, not driving 7.7 .7 miles for five bucks. No, thank you. Oh, I almost hit accept accidentally. Here we go down to 74% AR. Not doing that either. Taco Bell, 550 for seven miles. Come on, DoorDash. I could do that. 
No, I'm not. I could. No. Still at 74% acceptance rate. That Taco Bell wouldn't have been that bad. Uh, here I am driving right to Taco Bell anyway, right in that direction. And it was just going to Mariner's Landing, it looked like. It wouldn't have been that bad. Maybe I should have done it. All right, y'all, we held out for a high pay offer from McDonald's, $7 for like three miles or something like that. It's a good order. Here we go back to Mickey D's. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. We, uh, F A D. No numbers. <laughs> All letters. F A D. Fad. F A D. F A D. There we go. Thank you so much. Right. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate your business, Emily. Have a terrific day. y'all we just accepted a five dollar cracker barrel order because i'm a glutton for punishment you know it's only going to be going a mile and a half it was five dollars for three miles it's like a mile and a half here and a mile and a half back to drop it off but it's the waiting what is i need to check my completion rate <laughs> so i might need to unassign this thing oh i'm still down at 95 Oh, good grief, there's nowhere to park. That's not a good sign. You have a good day. You too. Is that for Sam W? Yes, it is. Fantastic. He does have a drink. Sorry to leave you hanging. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, Sam, I appreciate your business, buddy. Enjoy your Cracker Barrel and have an awesome day. All right, y'all, as soon as we drop that off, what was it, Cracker Barrel? We got a Stefan's order. It's not fantastic. Six and a half bucks for 4.3 miles. I was really, I was about to call it a day. Uh, Stefan's is just right here. I'm right by it. I was gonna call it a day. We had 60 or 61 bucks in exactly three hours. I was gonna call it quits, but I didn't hit the little button to stop orders after this delivery, so I immediately got this offer for Stephens. I don't suppose that says Stacy on it, does it? Fantastic. Haven't seen you in a while. I know, I haven't been getting any Stefan's orders. Did they change it now? You have to 
just hit accept now, you don't really get to see or hit. A dasher told me that, that it's changed now, that they, you don't get to see what the tip is or where they're going anymore. You, they have to hit accept and then they get to see. I don't think there have been any changes like that that I know of. Now, you immediately when they send you the offer, you see the restaurant. Um, but then you don't get to see the customer's address until after you accept. Okay, so maybe that's what yeah. he was talking about. Yeah. Because okay. I think they do that, like some people would discriminate and say, I don't want to go to that neighborhood, yep. you know. That makes sense. So, you have but anyway, if I see Stephens, I always hit accept. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, where are we going? recognize the address. I'm hungry. Okay. I'm just turning on Lake Jordan Boulevard and then it's right off of Lake Jordan Boulevard. That'll be easy enough. That'll put me right behind Taco Bell. Yum. Maybe I'll eat some Taco Bell. The customer requested you leave the order at their door. They added the following instructions. Leave at my door. Okay. I will leave it at your door. <laughs> Come back with a warrant. <laughs> All right, y'all. I appreciate your business. Enjoy your stuffings and have a terrific day. <laughs> I got you in the picture. <laughs> you, you, you ordered Stephens, right? There you go. You got it. Appreciate your business. Y'all have a great day. All right, y'all. That does it for Friday, May the 3rd. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? It was kind of uneventful. It was another one of those days where it didn't feel like a, a good day, but we wound up making a little over 20 bucks an hour. Uh, I think we made like 67 bucks and worked three hours in 15 minutes. So, 20 buck chuck. Uh, but it was fine. My back still hurt me. I need that to heal up. I don't know if it ever will as long as I'm doing spark orders with these stupid 40 packs of water. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thanks for riding along with me. Thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow.